Well, if you are just joining us, here are the eight things you need to know today. Right now, the fate of seven Marines and four soldiers unknown after an Army helicopter crashed during a training exercise last night in the Florida Panhandle. The helicopter went down between Pensacola and Destin along a stretch of beach owned by the military. There will be much more ahead on this story coming up on GMA directly following our show. Closer to home, a warning from Biddeford Police. If you live in or around the Cleves Street neighborhood, you should be on the lookout for acid bombs made in soda bottles. Two men are facing charges this morning after police found several of the dangerous devices yesterday. Fortunately, no one was injured. But if you do find one of the bottles, please say do not touch them and immediately call police. Right now in Portland, there's a proposal on the table to change the start and end times for city schools, pushing them back about a half hour. WMTW News 8's Morgan Sturdivant is live at Steering High School this morning with more on how this would affect high school students. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning, Megan. Yes, if this proposal is approved, it would change the high schoolers' start and end time by a half an hour. There, it would also uh, change elementary and middle school times by just about five to ten minutes. The proposal is designed to add 20 minutes of learning time a day. It would also shorten the school year by two days. The superintendent says medical studies show that a later start time is beneficial for learning. There are some mixed reactions, though. Some students think sleeping in would help, but some parents are worried about how pick up and drop off for their kids would be with the new times. Also being considered a partnership with Metro Bus Line to transport students to school. Now, if this proposal is approved, the students wouldn't see it before they go to summer break. It would, uh, the change would be in effect when they come back to school in the fall. Live in Portland this morning, WMTW News 8. And later this morning, we'll learn who'll be taking over as the next president of USM. The finalists are Glenn Cummings, president at UMaine Augusta, and Harvey Castleman from the Richard Stockton College of New Jersey. Continuing the eight things that you need to know today, Governor LePage says that his administration won't move forward with its plan to introduce Keno in the state this year. He says now is not the time to have another debate over gambling. The administration had planned to roll out the game at retailers like bars and restaurants this spring. And Governor LePage back on the road today taking on his budget proposal to Auburn. He's holding the third in a series of town hall meetings at Edward Little High School tonight. Tonight's event is free and open to the public. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton breaking her silence, commenting on the growing controversy over the personal email account that she used while at the State Department. She's talking about that, she said that she didn't save private messages and only turned over work related emails, and she used one mobile device instead of two out of convenience. Closer to home, the Sea Dogs are hiring. The organization is holding a job fair today to fill a long list of seasonal part time positions. The fair runs from noon until 5 o'clock in the Portland Room. At Hadlock Field, you can fill out an application there at the fair or get one online and bring it with you.